Brought to you by wikivd.com. Woody Allen Hey Wood. Woody Allen is an American director, writer, actor, comedian, playwright, and musician whose career spans more than six decades. He worked as a comedy writer in the 1950s, writing jokes and scripts for television and publishing several books of short humor pieces. In the early 1960s, Allen began performing as a stand-up comedian, emphasizing monologues rather than traditional jokes. As a comedian, he developed the persona of an insecure, intellectual, fretful nebbish which he maintains is quite different from his real-life personality. In 2004, Comedy Central ranked Allen in fourth place on a list of the 100 greatest stand-up comedians while a UK survey ranked Allen as the third greatest comedian. By the mid-1960s Allen was writing and directing film, first specializing in slapstick comedies before moving into dramatic material influenced by European art cinema during the 1970s, and alternating between comedies and dramas. To the present, he is often identified as part of the new Hollywood wave of filmmakers of the mid-1960s. To late 1970s, Allen often stars in his films, typically in the persona he developed as a stand-up. Some of the best known of his over 40 films are Annie Hall, Manhattan, Hannah and Her Sisters, and Crimes and Misdemeanors. In 2007 he said Stardust Memories, The Purple Rose of Cairo, and Matchpoint were his best films. Critic Roger Ebert described Allen as a treasure of the cinema. Allen won four Academy Awards, three for Best Original Screenplay, and one for Best Director. He also won nine British Academy of Film and Television Arts Awards. His screenplay for Annie Hall was named the funniest screenplay by the Writers Guild of America in its list of the 101 funniest screenplays. In 2011, PBS televised the film Biography Woody Allen, a documentary on the American Masters TV series. Early Life Allen was born Allen Stewart Koenigsberg in Brooklyn, New York. He and his sister, Nettie, were raised in Midwood, Brooklyn. He is the son of Nettie, a bookkeeper at her family's delicatessen, and Martin Koenigsberg, a jewelry engraver and waiter. His family was Jewish, his grandparents emigrated to the U.S. from Russia and Austria, and spoke Yiddish, Hebrew, and German. His parents were both born and raised on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. His childhood was not particularly happy. His parents did not get along, and he had a rocky relationship with his stern, temperamental mother. Alan spoke German quite a bit in his early years. He would later joke that, when he was young he was often sent to interfaith summer camps, where he was savagely beaten by children of all races and creeds. While attending Hebrew school for eight years, he went to public school 99 and to Midwood High School, where he graduated in 1953. At that time, he lived in an apartment at 968 East 14th Street. Unlike his comic persona, he was more interested in baseball than school and his strong arms ensured he was first to be picked for a team. He impressed students with his extraordinary talent at card and magic tricks. For pay, he wrote jokes for agent David O. Alba, who sold them to newspaper columnists. At the age of 17, he legally changed his name to Haywood Allen and later began to call himself Woody Allen. According to Allen, his first published joke read, Woody Allen says he ate at a restaurant that had OPS prices over people's salaries. He was then earning more than both parents combined. After high school, he attended New York University, studying communication and film in 1953, before dropping after failing the course, motion picture production. He later briefly studied film at City College of New York in 1954, but did not finish the semester. Later, he learned via self-study rather than in the classroom. He eventually taught at the new school. He also studied with writing teacher Leoshi Gri. 
His status before the selective service system was 4F, a medical deferment. Although he later claimed his actual status was 4P, hostage. Comedy writer Alan began writing short jokes when he was 15, and the following year began sending them to various Broadway writers to see if they'd be interested in buying any. He also began going by the name of Woody Allen. One of those writers was Abe Burroughs, co-author of Guys and Dolls, who wrote, Wow, his stuff was dazzling. Burroughs then wrote Alan letters of introduction to Sid Caesar, Phil Silvers, and Peter Lind Hayes, who immediately sent Alan a check for just the jokes Burroughs included as samples. As a result of the jokes Alan mailed to various writers, he was invited, then age 19, to join the NBC Writers Development Program in 1955, followed by a job on the NBC Comedy Hour in Los Angeles. He was later hired as a full-time writer for humorist Herb Schreiner, initially earning $25 a week. He began writing scripts for The Ed Sullivan Show, The Tonight Show, specials for Sid Caesar Post Caesar's Hour, and other television shows. By the time he was working for Caesar, he was earning $1,500 a week. With Caesar, he worked alongside Danny Simon, whom Alan credits for helping form his writing style. In 1962 alone he estimated that he wrote 20,000 jokes for various comics. Alan also wrote for the Candid Camera television show and appeared in some episodes. Along with that show, he wrote jokes for the Buddy Hackett sitcom Stanley in the Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. And in 1958 he co-wrote a few Sid Caesar specials with Larry Gelbart. After writing for many of television's leading comedians and comedy shows, Alan was gaining the reputation for being a genius, says composer Mary Rogers. When given an assignment for a show, he would leave and come back the next day with reams of paper, according to producer Max Liebman. Similarly, after writing for Bob Hope, Hope called him half a genius. His daily writing routine could go as long as 15 hours, and he could focus and write anywhere necessary. Dick Cavard was amazed at Alan's capacity to write, he can go to a typewriter after breakfast and sit there until the sun sets and his head is pounding, interrupting work only for coffee and a brief walk, and then spend the whole evening working. When Alan wrote for other comedians, they would use 8 out of 10 of his jokes. When he began performing as a stand-up, he was much more selective typically using only one out of ten jokes. He estimated that to prepare for a 30-minute show, he spent six months of intensive writing. He enjoyed writing, however, despite the work. Nothing makes me happier than to tear open a ream of paper. And I can't wait to fill it. I love to do it. Alan started writing short stories and cartoon captions. For magazines such as The New Yorker, he was inspired by the tradition of New Yorker humorists S. J. Perelman, George S. Kaufman, Robert Benchley, and Max Schulman, whose material he modernized. Allen has published four collections of his short pieces and plays. These are getting even without feathers, side effects, and mere anarchy. His early comic fiction was heavily influenced by the zany, pun-ridden humor of S. J. Perelman. In 2010, Alan released digital spoken word versions of his four books, in which he reads 73 short story selections from his work in for which he was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.